It's been a little while, but a new hero is here straight out of the wastelands of Amida. Drongo, perhaps the most mentally unstable carry in Agora, has arrived in Paragon and he has one extremely interesting kit. There's room for diverse deck builds and straight up hard counters to heroes reliant on their abilities and I can't wait to take him for a spin. Like always, these videos are for those of you eager, dare I say crazy, enough to venture into PvP without a single ounce of Drongo experience under your belt. So let's go crazy with these tips. Tip number one, Drongo has a silence. Mind you, you have to be standing in the AoE cloud of toxic gas, but Gag Grenade works wonders for those of you that maintain awareness and that have some tactical wit about how you decide to use the ability. You'll quickly realize how useful and effective a three second silence can be for your teammates and how painful it can be for opponents. There's a big team fight going down. Throw down that silence grenade right in the middle of things. Countess about to ult. Silence. Narbash about to ult. Silence. Gideon about to ult. Silence. I could go on and on and on, but uh, I'm going to leave it to you guys to figure out how you want to best use that ability. Tip number two, he has a boomerang, and it does boomerang things. You can toss that bad boy like you're in the outback with your mates. Craggy. It does a little bit of damage, but more importantly, it offers a nice slow that stacks per person hit. It performs a little like ricochet stun, but you can slightly guide the boomerang uh, more so than you can ricochet stun. Test it out. Tip number three, stack those rat rounds. This ability performs like a ticking time bomb. Land all your shots to ensure that once they explode, you'll get the largest amount of burst damage available. It's also good to point out as you level this up, you'll get more radioactive rounds. So it starts off at level three. Once you level up the ability, it goes four, then five rounds, six rounds. It heavily relies on your ability to land basic attacks. If you can't land them, and I've said this before, you will struggle to use this ability. Tip number four, don't be afraid to get in the mix of a fight. That doesn't mean go head first like you are a tank, you're a carrot. But you can put a silence grenade down in a big team fight, land some rad rounds, boomerang for the slow, and then use your ultimate shrapnel cannon, cannon to bounce back to safety. Which leads me to tip number five, experiment with shrapnel cannon. As I just mentioned, the ability has a backwards rocket jump mechanic that will allow you to engage in fights in interesting and unique ways. This is an unreal tournament, you're not going to be like jumping off walls and doing stuff like that, but that would be pretty cool. But hey, you may be able to start a fight somewhere on the map and use the ability to deal damage and escape. Very interesting engagements. Now the last time I did one of these, we weren't able to itemize in the same way. So. The last big tip I really have for you is the card system really shakes up how you can approach each hero. Don't be afraid to try crazy stuff. I have a lot of key moment videos that I've gone in and shown you guys a lot of variety and depth on how you can be successful. So you need to experiment when new heroes come out and don't get caught in your ways. You can do crazy things. Don't be afraid to try crazy stuff. You wanna know why? Cause Drongo wouldn't be afraid to try crazy things. You wanna know why? Cause he's a maniac. He's psychotic he's crazy he's mentally unstable anyway thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button before it radioactively explodes <laughs>